Hey, hey friends, it's Cory from Hey Let's Make Stuff. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a gang sheet. No matter what type of printing you are doing, you may have heard the term gang sheet. And this is basically where we're gonna upload a bunch of smaller images into one larger file. Then we're going to export that file as a single image. So basically we're taking a bunch of smaller images, making them one big image, and then that one big image file, we can then upload to our own printer software or to a professional printer like Ninja Transfers. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to make two different types of gang sheets in Canva. I'll talk about why we're using Canva here in a minute, but the two projects we're gonna make are creating an 11 by 17 gang sheet to upload to your own printer. So maybe you have a large sublimation printer. I'm going to be using my white toner printer. You can do this with a smaller file, like if you have an eight and a half by 11 sheet. This is basically for doing your own transfers on your own printer at home. Then we're going to use basically a very similar process to create a 22 inch by 84 inch gang sheet that we can then upload to Ninja Transfers. Ninja Transfers is one of many places that you can get DTF prints. I have used them a bunch. I like them, so that's why I'm going to use them in this video. But they allow you to upload a gang sheet, and I wanted to show you exactly how to make one of these sort of giant gang sheets in Canva so that you could upload it to Ninja Transfers to have them print your transfers for you. So the first question you might have is why have a gang sheet? And the first reason is cost. You are basically saving yourself a lot of money when you can fit a lot of images in one single space. So for example, white toner uh, film is about $3 a sheet. So I could print, you know, a single image on that $3 sheet and the image would cost me $3. Or I could fit a bunch of images on that single sheet and print it and my cost per image goes down. The same thing is basically true with a company like Ninja Transfers. If you upload one giant image, it saves them from having to print out a bunch of smaller images. They can just print one giant long run um, and it's cheaper for them and cheaper for you. Now, like I said, you can do this with pretty much any type of printing. So sublimation, white toner, DTF, UV DTF, Sawgrass Versaflex, regular printing, just basically anything you can think of, you can probably create a gang sheet for it. Yes, it takes you a little bit more time to create the gang sheet. However, it will save you money and probably also time when it comes to the printing part. So for this, we're going to be using Canva. Canva is actually not my ideal design program. I am an Adobe Illustrator girl through and through. If you want to learn more about Adobe Illustrator, I do have a series on it. Um, but I'm using Canva because you can do this in the free Canva version and free is good. I don't need you paying, you know, $60 a month for Adobe Illustrator. You can do this in Canva. Canva is great because you just upload and then drag and drop your images where you need them um, and you can export a file with a transparent background which is also important. If you prefer using another design program you should be able to translate this tutorial into your design program pretty easily. There are just a few things you need to go through this tutorial. You are going to need a free Canva account, you are going to need whatever images you want to print, and you are going to need either your own home printer or like a Ninja Transfers account so that you can order your transfers from them. I'm going to hop into Canva and show you how to do this but if you have any questions about this process, please make sure to leave those for me so I can answer them for you. Here we are in Canva and I clicked create a design and here we can create our first gang sheet. So instead of choosing any of their templates, I'm going to go down here over on the left and choose custom size. Here we can add our custom size. So I'm going to choose 11 by 17. I have already made this uh, gang sheet before, so it's saved here. So I'm gonna choose 11 by 17. Now we can make our gang sheet. You can see our sort of artboard here is 11 by 17. And we can go over to uploads and choose the files we want to add. So let's say I wanted to make maybe some summer camp squad shirts. So we can add our image here. And most uh, printers, other than maybe regular desktop printers, can allow you to get pretty close to those margins. You maybe need a quarter of an inch, if that. So you can get really, really high up there. If you need something with bigger margins, you can go over here and go to File, Settings, and you can adjust the margins here. So let's say I wanna make three summer camp shirts. So I've got my summer camp squad. If I wanna change the size, I can go to position here. I'm just gonna change it just a little bit and make it eight inches wide. Oh, and I wanna make sure I have this lock clicked. So hold on, 8.25, click that lock, eight. There we go. Now I can copy and paste some more versions here. I'm just using my keyboard shortcuts, but you can also use just this duplicate button that pops up when you have an image selected. So now we have three Summer Camp Squad images and you're like, cool, now I can get three images on a single sheet. But we have all this extra room and I like to fill it up. Even if I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use the files for, I feel like it's better than wasting expensive film. If this was paper, I might you know, be less inclined to try and fill this up. But if I'm using white toner film or if I'm using DTF film, I want to use this. So let's go find another image. I have an image down here that is Hello Sunshine. 
Now you can see there's a problem with this file. It has a white background and we definitely need to remove this background. So to do that, we can use Canva's background remover. Honestly, it's the best background remover I have found of any program. So up here, just BG remover, and it'll think for a second and remove the background. I also have quite a large bounding box, so I am gonna just kind of shrink my bounding box just a little bit here so that it's not quite so large. Now I can rotate this to 90 degrees, and I can fit a few more images up here. I'm gonna make this quite a bit smaller here. Even if I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, I'm gonna make them anyway because, you know, I can always put these on little pouches, put them on sleeves, all sorts of different things. All right, so now I have three Hello Sunshines. I'm actually gonna make a fourth. I'm gonna turn it this way back to the way it should be and kind of fit that right in here. And then I have, you know, I'm not gonna worry so much about this little space down here. Actually, if I move this over, I bet I can make all of these just bigger. And you know, I might play around a little bit of like, okay, where might I want to use these files? <laughs> um, but for now, I'm just kind of showing you an example here. So then I can move this back over here and we can still fit like another little file here. So let's throw shell yes in there because it's kind of the right size. And we'll just fit it in there just like that. Anytime you want to edit the size of your file, you can go to position. So position allows you to change the width and height of your image. You also have like alignment tools so you can center, you know, and align that way too. All right, we have filled up our paper. We wanna make sure that none of our images are off the edge, but overall this looks really good. And now we can export it. So I'm going to go to share, download. We're gonna keep it as a PNG. You don't wanna change the size and you wanna click transparent background because if you don't click transparent background, you could have white, you'll have a white background and that white background on some printers will print. If you have a printer that has white ink, it will print, you don't want a white background. So you'll make sure you have that transparent background and then click download. And now if I open up our file here, this is just preview, you can see that my file is ready to print. It's one single file, it's called untitled design at this point, but it is one single file and I don't have any white backgrounds. That's one thing you definitely wanna check. You don't wanna have any white backgrounds because you don't want them to print. Now all I have to do is upload this single file to my software and print it. Now I'm gonna show you how to make one for Ninja Transfers. The process of actually making the gang sheet is very similar, but I wanted to show you some pitfalls as far as Canva goes with Ninja Transfers. So here I am at Ninja Transfers. We're gonna to go to DTF Transfers and upload a DTF gang sheet. Here is where we can upload that print ready file that we talked about. Now, if you go down here, you can see the length of the gang sheet. It's always gonna be 22 inches wide, but we have a very long option here. We can go all the way to 30 feet. For this, let's make sure we are in inches, and then we're gonna to go to 22 inches wide, and let's say I wanted to make that 360 inch gang sheet, so that's that 30 foot gang sheet. So it's 360 inches. It looks like we only have a maximum of 83.328 inches. So the biggest gang sheet you can really make here is seven feet. Seven feet is like 84 inches, I believe. Um, so we can make the seven foot gang sheet, but we can't make one of the longer gang sheets. If you wanted to make one of the longer ones, you're going to need to do it in another program. So now I have 22 inches wide by this very random 83.328 inches like tall, and I'm going to click create new design. So this is 22 inches wide and just about 84 inches long. And we're gonna do exactly what we did before. We're going to upload our files here and arrange them in a way that allows us to make the most of this printing space. I've added our summer camp squad shirt here. This one came in a little bit larger, even though it's the same image. It came in at 16.49, but I'm gonna take that back down to eight. There we go. And you can see that this is a very large transfer here. We are going to be able to fit a lot. So maybe I'm making summer camp shirts for like the whole summer camp here. Now I can go ahead and just copy and paste. We can copy and paste. Again, I like selecting all. Now I can copy and paste a bunch. And then we can select all and copy and paste even more. So now we have like a bunch of summer camp shirts. This is where those positioning tools come in handy. So I'm going to click position and I'm gonna align them in the center here. Make sure I have them all selected, align in the center. I think I could scoot these over just a little bit. So let's select everything, get a little closer to the margin and then just select this one, get a little closer to the margin, just like that. Another tool that I like in the positioning also here is tidy up. Um, looks like mine are already pretty tidy, but if your files are just a little wonky and not spaced evenly, tidy up will help. 
Now we have 16 summer camp shirts. Let's see what else we can add. So let's say I also want to make a bunch of scoops. I did it again, um, images here. So I'm going to go ahead and just change the size of my bounding box. I just find this a lot easier here. You don't want to cover any of your image, but a smaller bounding box is easier. Then I'm going to go to position. And for this one, I think I'm going to make it 10 inches high. All right. So now I think we can fit three scoops straight across here, just like that. I'm gonna space them out just a little bit more to give it a little breathing room being able to cut. So again, I can copy and paste and make a bunch of these. Just like this. All right, so this looks pretty good, but we still have a little extra space. So even if we're making small images, I wanna use this extra space. So I'm going to go choose that same Hello Sunshine file we used before. Remember, we need to remove the background on this one. And I'm going to change my bounding box just a little bit here. I'm going to make it much smaller so that we can fit a few of those down here at the bottom. I can zoom in here. That can help. So let's see. Yep, that'll work. can fit a few of these across the bottom. Just like that. You may have to, you know, cut around when you get this. You'll have to cut around with scissors, but that's easy. And then we have all of this room here over on the side. Let's zoom out a little bit. And we're going to add this little flocking fabulous file, just like this. We can add these all down the side. Where am I going to use them? I don't know, but I just hate wasting material. So we're just going to put them all the way down here so that we're really using up our material. Can I fit one more? Let's see. Yeah, I think I can. So now if I zoom out just a little bit, here, I can select all my flamingos and I can go back to position. Again, I can center them in the middle and then I can tidy them up and they'll actually be evenly spaced. So now we have a very nice gang sheet with a bunch of different images. So I'm going to click share, download, don't change the size, make sure it has a transparent background and download. And then once again, if I just open this in preview, you can see all the images. Again, this is very tall, but it doesn't have any white background. You wanna make sure you double check that. Now, if we go back to Ninja Transfers, you can see here that I have it selected to seven feet. I like this little guy over here on the side. It kind of shows you that Ryan is 6'2", so this is how tall your transfer is gonna be, which is a lot of transfers, right? Uh, it's gonna be $69, and all we need to do is drag and drop our image here or select it. So here it will upload, you can see the little guy, and you can see here what it's going to look like. It looks so good, you can kind of zoom in, see what it's going to look like. It will look a little bit fuzzy just because it's zooming in, um, but yeah, this is how you upload a transfer. So you have to check this box to make sure that these, you know, that you have full rights to the artwork and then you can proceed to check out. I went ahead and printed my image on my white toner printer and you can see here that in this single sheet I have what seven eight images this is much better than just printing one or two small images on your sheet you are really able to fit a lot more on a sheet using a gang sheet I hope you found this video tutorial helpful for making a gang sheet for whatever type of printing you do if so give it a like follow my channel for more printing content I'll see you next time